<laughs> well, it's part of you know we. Um, it's part of our employee manual, right? It's oh yeah, I'm not an employee, right? Clearly, so, yeah, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I appreciate the the uh, information, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't need a vest or anything. I'm good. Okay. If I could just make a polite request to you in the future, you know, if a journalist is doing an interview, it'd really be appreciated if you guys don't interrupt. It's kind of rude. Um, we're we're this is operations. Um, this is a secure facility. Well, it's a uh, secure facility have to be an employee to be here. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. That's weird. Public the front train. doors didn't say anything like that. Yeah. And um, that's one of the uh, actually no issues. no closed gates or anything. That's one of the issues we're dealing with. But you can't be arrested for it. Just, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Just a reminder. Yeah. We do require every individual to walk in the yard with the vest on. Yeah. And I totally get that the policy is for employees. Correct. It, it, well, Obviously, you can't general compel. public shouldn't even be in here. Um, what is the quickest way to get to that gate cause, or exit entry point? Follow me. All right. Did you already provide your information to my partner for you? No. Do you want to provide your information? I don't. You don't? Okay, that's fine. We can still right. give you a written notice. Okay. Hey everyone, I am free. It's April 11th, 2024. I'm in the city of Bellevue, King County, Washington State. I'm actually heading to two transit centers that I got tips and leads about regarding poor behavior towards the public and unwillingness to assist in public records requests. So I'm gonna head there, see if that's actually the case. Uh, those two locations, straight up ahead, kind of through that construction area you see there, is the Bellevue Transit Facility. That is on the right. And on the left or the west is the King County Metro Base East. Not too bad. Hey, do you know where I would go? I'm looking for the vehicle maintenance office to get a public records request form. Is that here or? Uh, that is a great question. I think you want to start downstairs and I'm not certain exactly where. Okay. I uh, saw I that that side of the inter or of the building says no unauthorized person. So, so I'm guessing it's not that area. Okay. Next question. Do you have your King County ID with you? No. Do you work for King County? No. Okay. Then may I ask how you got into the building? Yeah. I walked in. The door's open. Okay, well that's a problem. Um, yeah, there's no signage or anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and go downstairs and see if we can find some help for you. Sounds good. Did you come in this door? Uh, no. Which, where did you come in? Uh, not here. here. I think it's through this okay, door right here. Gentlemen, do we have a chief in house? Uh, they're upstairs in the building with fill the building. Okay, we have a gentleman here who just walked into the building and he's looking for a VM. Uh, he does not work for King County, so I want to get him permission to be able to talk to VM. So we need to locate a chief. So let me go find, see if I can interrupt their meeting. It is, it is nice. It is. 
Hi there. Hey, how's it going? Good. Martin Larson. Yeah, uh, Steve. Steve. Yeah, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good. Just here to get a public records request form for the vehicle maintenance office. Public records request form for the vehicle maintenance office. Yep. That's are they expecting you or? No. Um, we don't have a form for public information requests on location. This is this is an operations and vehicle maintenance facility. Mm -hmm. And so I think you would go online to get a right. information request form. Correct. Oh, that's certainly one of the five ways you can do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you look in uh, 425680 in the Public Records Act, you can also go into any of the offices, any government office, and get that request form. Right. I, that sounds logical. But um, I'm just not aware of that uh, specific form. I mean, could we print one out for you? That'd be great. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. What's the name of the form? It's just a public records request form. I mean, I'm sure the King County's probably just got a generic one or something that they have for that. And right. I can just I fill it out on that. You, you want to go look? Right. Okay. Okay. Appreciate the um, help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're, we're, this is operations. Um, this is a secure facility. Well, it's a uh, secure facility. have to be an employee to be here. Really? Yes. Yes, tra weird. public front doors didn't say anything like that. Yeah, and um, that's one of the uh, actually There's issues. No closed gates or anything. That's one of the issues we're dealing with. Oh. All the, um, not all of them, but many of the other facilities in King County Metro do have securement. We've been uh, working to get that here. Oh, okay. badge, yeah, because actually badge entry, all that kind of stuff. The also, signs are on the gate. down that way, down at 124th the Avenue. Signs are on both gates. Yeah, the signs are on both gates. You want to come look? Maybe you can film that. I came from that direction. Um, where did you park? I didn't know. Okay, good. good. Yeah, good. Yeah, no, it's um, the, if you go we'll down to that uh, open. One, once we're done here, point. we'll we'll escort you out the building that way because um, escort them out. You, you, nobody's allowed through there unless they have safety vests on. <laughs> well, it's part of you know we. Um, it's part of our employee manual, right? It's oh yeah, I'm not an employee. Right. Clearly. So, yeah, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I appreciate the. The uh, information, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't need a vest or anything. I'm good. Okay. So, but yeah, if you go over there and you access through that road, uh, there's actually a, a pedestrian detour sign that instructs you to walk this way. And uh, that's what I did. Okay. Happy to show it to you. Let me go get a vest for you and I. And oh, I don't need a vest. I'm good. I, I hate putting okay. vests on. Okay, and we'll just stay here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go take you out into the yard. Oh, that's um, fine. You're not authorized out there. Yeah. Um, and it would not be safe for you to be out there without a vest. Don't want you to get hit by a bus, right? Yeah, well, when I'm done with my PR, I've actually got to get some more video footage out there. So I'm going to head back out that way. But if you want to walk with me, I can show you what I saw when I came okay. in. Okay. Happy to do that. I think we probably need to get... Police and fire. Hi, this is Metro Coordinator 5. I have an unauthorized uh, person inside uh, one of the bases over there in Bellevue. Okay, what is the address? Uh, the address at Bellevue Base is 1790 124th Avenue Northeast. Okay, I'm just going to confirm that's 1790 124th Avenue Northeast, the Metro Bellevue Base. Metro, yeah. And you said there's an author unauthorized writer? Are they on a bus? Uh, nope. He's a person inside the base and he's videotaping. They've asked him to leave and he's refusing. Okay. Does he have any weapons on him? No, no weapons. I'm not drunk or high either. Okay, give me just a moment. Sure. And so he's just videotaping people or what exactly? Yes, well, operators. Okay. Mm -hmm. And refusing to leave. He's not supposed to be there since he's not an operator. Okay. And is there 
it use the metro base? Is there a specific area at the metro base? Is, is the base what again? Is there a specific area that he is at at the base? Yeah, inside the uh, dispatch area, I suppose is how you describe it. And what race is the subject? He is an Asian male. With, uh, I don't have that. Uh, all I've got is, uh, has a hat and jeans and a face mask on. Okay. With a video camera. Do you know if it's like a, like a COVID mask or a ski mask? I believe it's a COVID mask of all things. Okay, do you know how tall he is? Again, I do not. Okay. I gave you the description, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And do you know how long he's been there? I think uh, five minutes, ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. And if it's the dispatcher, is it locked? Do you know how he got in? Is he able just to walk in? I I, I don't I don't know how he got in, but I'm suppose somebody may have let him in or he forced his way in, but I don't know. Or just refusing to leave in the video. Again, we're just refusing to leave. Okay, and then what is a good callback number for you? That'd be 206 684 1705. Okay, I put this in for officers. If anything does change or escalate, do give us a call back so we can update them. Well, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Now, obviously, I can't force you to not walk out there. Sure. Obviously, I can't force you to do that. Um, yeah. I could ask you to, to, to follow our guidelines and adhere to those guidelines, just like an employee would. I know you're not an employee. Sure. Um, but um, just being reasonable, uh, we ask, actually, for our employees, we mandate all of our employees wear safety vests if they're going out into the yard. Sure. It's a safety precaution. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, hey, liability we're, for the we're, county. Well, it's, yeah, and it's, re it's regulated. We're, we're required to do that. If We'll get fined if we don't. Sure. Um, right. So if, if there just happened to be a state investigator watching and we have some guy out here with a camera yeah, I'm walking just, around. I'm we a journalist working on a story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm sure you can respect our policies and procedures and, and our safety codes. I mean, I can uh, respect that you have them for your employees. I can't. Yeah. I can't have my ability as press to be impeded because you guys may not want me to get video of what. Do you I'm have wearing. any sort of ID? Oh, you probably do have an ID. Do you have some sort of press credentials? I do, but I'd rather not show them right now. Okay. It'd be like, um, imagine this, sure. if, if you had like, let's, let's pick Olympia, right? Mm -hmm. If you had Fox News going there as a journalist to try to interview Governor Isley, there's no way they'd let him in there. Give somebody from MSNBC going in to interview Governor Isley, they'd absolutely let him in. So based on the company I work for and the story I'm working on, uh -huh. I don't know if you guys would really want me to finish my investigative journalism today. Uh, because of the story I'm working on, so okay. What are you working on? Yeah, I can't share that with you. <laughs> That's the whole point of the press, man. I mean, you got different kinds sure. of journalists yeah, and members yeah, of the press, yeah, and yeah. investigative journalists get out there with their feet on the street and they uncover, or at least look into what's allegedly going on at a location or whatnot. So, but if you got a business card when I'm done, happy to share with you what I'm working on. I'm okay. Okay. Yep. No problem. Yeah. Great. This is the information I could okay. find. Oh, yeah. What I'll do is. Yeah, this is just stuff from Title 42, Chapter 56. I'll just use the back, fill out the public records request on that, and then just hand it back to you guys. Okay. And I'll just take a picture that way. I got a timestamp. So. Uh, you guys got a pen? Uh, 
We actually do have a timestamp device over here if you like that. That's awesome. That'd yeah. Be great. Yeah. You mind if I use that pencil? Thank you. Really appreciate it. All right, so now did you want to timestamp that? Because we have that a timestamp machine right here. That would be great. So here's our timestamp machine. Just put it in there? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get a photo of it real quick. And then I'll just leave that with you. I don't need like that. There you go. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks for the help. All right, well, I am going to go get the rest of the video that I need to get for my story. Are you going to walk in the yard? I am. Do you have a safety vest on? I don't. That's the policy we have. Yeah, for employees. Totally get it. Yeah. Right, right. Not also for the for anybody who's walking in the yard. Uh, because the buses need to see where you're walking. I mean, if someone wants to walk with me and wear a vest, that way it's all visible. That's cool. I mean, I'm just working on a story. So, I only got about 10, 15 minutes of video to get, and then I'm, I'm done. Yeah. So we do require every individual to walk in the yard with the vest on. Yeah, and I totally get that the policy is for employees. Correct. It, it, well, Obviously, you can't the general compel. public shouldn't even be in here. Whenever we have hmm. contractors come on site, mm -hmm. anyone who works from outside of King County, working with King County, we, we request and we require them to have a safety vest. It's for their safety. Totally, and get, for your yeah. Safety. And I'm not working with King County, I'm investigating King County. So, okay. if you, yeah, if you want to be in the yard, I would say. Yeah, somebody wants to come with, like I said, I'm totally fine with that. I mean, policies are obviously for you guys, and contractors obviously have a contract with you guys, so you can set the rules for them. Uh, I'm just free press, I'm an investigative journalist here working on a story, so if someone wants to come with, I'm totally fine with that. I mean, can I've got you, no real intent or Can role. you wait uh, so we can inform? Yeah, so that somebody's going to be walking in the yard. <coughs> inform him. So, so we can find someone maintenance? to work with you in the Mechanics? yard. So uh, we, can, we can inform I mean, them. I don't really want to yeah. wait that long. I mean, if somebody just wants to go with. Like yeah. I said, I've got a lot of other work i got to get done today. So I got. Oh, that's not our concern. Our concern is having anyone in our yard without safety equipment. Correct. It sure. is a liability yeah. issue. Sure. We would not want you to get hurt. Right. Yeah, well, and I think all the video evidence that something did happen would show that you guys did your due diligence. So right. if anything happened at that point, I mean, be kind of like a buyer beware However, sort of situation. However, right. that may be true from your vantage point, but unfortunately it may not be true from uh, someone else's vantage point, mm. wherein we could be accused of not doing our due diligence by letting sure. you walk around in the yard without a safety vest. Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's I mean, the problem that is concerned. I totally understand. We can agree to disagree on that. Um, like I said, I got to get out there, finish that up. Should only be about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to head out and I'll be done for the day. We so. can. We can. Appreciate let it. We well, we don't have the authority. To yeah. This, is, this uh, area facility is closed to the public, but well, and I, we're not I, law enforcement. So. I appreciate that that is i mean that may be the case like if the other guys, well, you guys have the right signage and all that but i mean there's literally a detour sign that says come through this yeah area. i'm sure that's an error but um <laughs> you know, know errors happen, happen. Right. yeah yeah no i understand so uh, like i said i'm going to finish up but i mean geez I've, if you guys want to come with i mean i've got no problem with that like i said i just got to get about 10 minutes of video or so i would guess and then i'm out so appreciate it oh excuse me hello sorry just got to cut through here Excuse me. Thank you. Don't be finding anything? Uh, actually, just getting video. Oh, okay. Yeah, just working on a story. I'm an investigative journalist. Sure. So, just okay. came in here to get some video in okay. about 10 yeah. minutes, and I should be done. You're welcome to. We just ask you don't go out in the yard without a safety vest on. It's kind of a requirement we have in the yard here. Yeah, I totally get that for the, you know, the policy for employees and whatnot or contractors right. but i don't i don't work for the county we gotcha well so. i mean technically i think it's kind of closes the public out in the parking lot you're welcome here at the building and stuff oh what <clears throat> what made you think that i walked in over there in fact the sidewalk sign for pedestrians said detour this way mm -hmm. it actually instructed me to come this way understood okay gotcha i mean I'm, it, it, I heard the same thing from a couple of the guys in there. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, I'd be happy to show you because it sounds like there's uh, a no, I believe you. bit of a confusion over on 124th where the road's being constructed on. Ah, uh, okay. Right there at that intersection, mm -hmm. the four-way intersection, there is a detour sign for pedestrians specifically. It says if you're going to the gotcha. King County Metro Base East, you go that way because mm -hmm. the sidewalks themselves are actually closed. Right. And then 
Uh, you can't go up past that. <clears throat> yeah, they, they're doing all that construction. I'm not sure exactly what they got going yeah. up here, but yeah. So anyways, uh, the other sign, which was on the right side, mm -hmm. you know, if you're facing that direction, it says you can take the sidewalk this way or that way. Because there's, I don't know if you drove in this way, but if you come I in. I haven't. They actually have this closed to vehicle traffic right now, but yeah, pedestrian okay. traffic, it's open. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyways, the uh, they've got a U-turn sign over there. You can actually drive into the King County Metro Base East and uh, gotcha. do it that way. I guess but, they're opening this to traffic on the 15th right here to go southbound. Oh, okay. So that's good for us because it's been yeah. closed for the past year. But Really? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. been a year? It's been about a year, yeah. We've All of our buses have been exiting out the back gate right wow. here. Wow. And that's why they, I don't know if you noticed that temporary light that's right up here. No. There's a temporary light they put in about a year ago because the buses, instead of going this way, they have to go this way now. So. You know, that's interesting you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. um, you just might be the very person I'm looking to talk to. <laughs> What's um, that? I had heard, but I, I didn't have specifics like that. One of the things I heard, a few things bring me here for tips mm -hmm. that I've got that, um, that, or well, I should say, an exit point, entrance point has caused some accidents because of its typical non-utility for that purpose. Oh, really? Does that sound familiar at all? I haven't heard of any incidences okay. with wrecks or you know, near misses. I am not aware okay, of any of them. But like nothing basically en entering or exiting effectively. You mean like buses and yeah, stuff? Buses yeah, buses Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have not been able to take a bus out that exit for it's been, I want to say the better part of a year. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> so if there's something been going on out here, it couldn't have been with a bus because Bellevue Base, this is Bellevue oh, Base, that's East Base. No, I agree. In fact, that's why as soon as you said that, I was like, oh, because when I was walking this way, uh -huh. that entry exit point doesn't look nearly as large, obviously. Are you talking as, about this one right here? Yeah. Yeah, That so that gate's normally closed because that used to be a, like a... Uh, the, not nursery, but they had gravel and bark and stuff there. Okay. Um, but that's where they're entering and exiting from. No, no, no. We're oh, this way. okay. Because I was like, that way. makes a lot of sense because yeah. that is really tight. And I was yeah. like, man, if you're trying to come in and out of that, that would be tough. So that okay. gate got open. Something to do with the construction, them running utilities or something through here. That gate was used to be always closed. Oh, uh, okay. So our detour is we go around this way and then I don't know if you saw the employee parking lot. Did you come in this way or this way? No, I came in from over there. Okay. That four way intersection. If you end up over here, so 127th comes from north up, goes down, dead ends right, like right here. Mm -hmm. And then you're facing this way. There's waste management here and then our employee parking lot and then also our back gates open for the buses to go in and out of. So we're going this way. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, actually what I think I'd like to do it sounds like, I mean, I've put in the public records request, so okay. I'll be able to see if there's been any accidents, at least reported ones. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, what is the quickest way to get to that gate, cause, or exit entry point? Follow me. All right. Okay, so basically you were saying so this is they come in this way, they exit this way. Correct. Okay. This is a this light right here. We start this up every evening when it starts when the sun starts. This one right here, so yeah, that they made you know, the light pole right there. Yeah. We we light that up so it's safe for pedestrians to cross. Gotcha. This is a dark spot. Okay. So we put that stuff in. Anyway, what, it, what would you say is the peak amount of movement of buses that come and go out of this, like at peak times? Sometime on swing, but I don't. I leave it to. Would it be so like? I'm not here for. Hi, it. Hi. officer of Bellevue Police. Um, can I talk to you? Uh, I'm doing an interview right now. Oh, do you? Okay. <laughs> well, I just had a couple questions. I answered them. So yeah. Okay. I like well, to keep ants doing my interview. Um. Sorry to bother about the interview, but I'm here because someone called that um, someone asked you to leave the property and- um, No one asked me to leave the property. Okay. Well, just know, just know who I'm talking to. Can I get your ID, please? No. Okay. Um, so, Good, I'm really trying to finish this interview up. If you guys could leave me alone so I could finish that. It's kind of rude to interrupt. Sorry, but yeah, uh, just to let you know, I'm also recording audiovisual recording all the right. right now. Great. So we're good. Well, all right. Find out you cut me out. <laughs> okay. 
I tend to do a lot of editing, so depending on what's relevant and what's not. So you said swing shift is the shift that has the most movement of buses? In my opinion, yeah. Gotcha. At what, I mean, best guess, I'm not trying to hold your feet to the fire on this, but you seem to know a lot about this place. Mm. How many buses do you think would be coming and going yeah. um, at that time? Like worst case scenario. At this pace? Yeah. Coming and going in like what kind of a time frame are we talking about here? Maybe an hour. We, we run 24 seven, so there's always buses coming and going. Gotcha. But, but I'd say that, peak time, I don't know, seven o'clock probably if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you think maybe coming and going out of the facility, you'd be looking at 20, 30, 50 buses or? I don't see, no, they trickle in, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, not, it's all different times. It's not like all of a sudden seven o'clock hits and we have a line of 30 buses coming in. It never works like that. Gotcha, so it's effectively, you don't have like a ton of buses coming and going and basically where it's risky, where there's danger. In my opinion, no. Okay. No, we do Fair everything enough. as safe as possible. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what was your name? I'm Chad. Chad. I'm mm -hmm. Steve. Steve. Uh, what's your position here? I am lead mechanic. Lead mechanic. All right, cool. Well, I really appreciate your time. So right. thank you for the interview. Appreciate it. Have a good day. All right. So I talked to him, um, and he doesn't want you here on the property right now. So I'm, I'm just... Am I being trespassed? Yes. Okay. And if I stay, I would get a place under arrest? Um, yeah. All right. That's how it works. All right, uh, are you guys gonna give me a written notice? Or? I could, um, but I, I need your ID to uh, fill it out. Uh, if you look at 9852, it doesn't require ID. Okay. Well, I'd still I prefer a written notice if I can get one, but yeah, you guys wanna do that off property because it sounds like you're trespassing me, so. Okay. If I could just make a polite request to you in the future, you know, if a journalist is doing an interview, it'd really be appreciated if you guys don't interrupt. It's kind of rude. Well, I didn't know what was going on. That's yeah, I mean, you saw an employee talking okay, to me. We'll, I mean, we'll make also a plan request, too, when there's no trespassing signs all over the place. And, uh, you, don't, and you don't work at a property. Well, I'll tell you, you this, probably shouldn't come If you come, come in over. that way, it okay. says, it actually tells you to come this way. Okay. Literally, there are pedestrian signs. Okay. So, where, where is off property? Is it passed through this gate? Yeah, if you want that written notice, we can hang out over here. And then once it's ready, then we can provide that. Did you already provide your information to my partner over here? No. Do you want to provide your information? I don't. You don't? Okay, that's fine. We can All still right. give you a written notice. Okay. And yeah. is off property through this gate over here? Is it through this gate? Is yeah, that where? This, okay. is, this will be the exit. <laughs> yeah, you know, it'd be great is if they actually had those on the other side. Oh, you came from that side, came through this other way? Yeah. Ah, okay. There's literally, in fact, not only is there no signage over there like that, but if you go over to that intersection at 124th where the, the bridge is, where it's close to vehicular traffic, there's actually a orange pedestrian sign that says, go this way or go that <laughs> way. The orange pedestrian sign directs you, well, in fact, there's two of them. One tells you to go to King County Metro Base East, just across the way, right. and the other one tells you to come this way. So, I literally- that would be a little confusing then. Uh, yeah, Cause, just- Coming, because we come from this side, and we're seeing this, we're like, oh, straightforward, no production. Uh, that is really straightforward, actually, yeah. We're talking to you like, huh, what are you doing here, man? Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> but, no. But you're coming from that side, where it says, please walk this way. Yes, in <laughs> fact, if you guys want me to show you, uh, I'll show you exactly where it is, what it looks like, I can show you on camera if you want. No, that's fine. Okay. I mean, if anything, I'm gonna walk through because now I'm like, okay, that seems a bit confusing. So yeah, absolutely. I'll probably well, talk to them too. Yeah, if you drive through, you'll see the basically that little bridge over there, uh, blocked with the vehicular traffic signs as road closed to through traffic or something like that. Set a little bit off, just in case. Sure. Um, you'll see that, but if you if you cross through that area, you'll see right as if you were to take a right up the hill. There's an orange sign right there, and then across the uh, way is another one. So, yeah, definitely when I see those signs, I get it. It's a no trespass, <laughs> but there is nothing over there. So, yeah. Oh, that's fair. You got a business card, by the way? I do. Uh, my partner's actually going to provide the case number and everything else. Cool. Appreciate Unless it. Unless you wanted my information specifically. like. Well, I just usually try to get it for in, in case I have a question about stuff later. I mean, that Let way me go I've ahead, got I'm gonna pull up the report number, yeah, because I, I came a little bit later, so, like, to the party. Sure. How's the day treating you? Not too bad, the weather is actually nice. Heck yeah, I was just telling that guy I was interviewing right there that uh, the uh, weather has been absolutely freaking awesome. We did have that little cold, because we had that week of sunshine, yeah, yeah, you're and right then about went that. right into the cold yeah, spot. Yeah, no, like, you're right hey. about that. Honestly, though, like, if, if I could pick the best temperature for a day, uh, I would pick 
I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this. 62 degrees, that's my favorite. Because yeah, I do a lot of walking. Yeah, because you can layer up a little bit there you go. without sweating. You can pull off a little thermal, thin thermal, exactly. tie it around your waist, and you're good. Yep, just like it. That's what I'm rocking right now, ah, actually. there you go. Yeah. It, is it Kaneshiro? That's it, yeah. You would not believe how many different ways I've heard it. That's actually, that's actually the good one. I have to guess, I mean, Kane Shiro makes no sense. <laughs> that's actually what I was called for years. Really? Yep. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It's like here in Washington State, uh, you know, on the other side of the state, the city of Spokane. I've heard a ton of people asking about going to Spokane. Like, hey, is there anything good to see there? That's, you know, just what's over there. And they call it uh, Spokane. Guilty. When I first came to the area, that's exactly what I was saying. And then I had some of the locals looking at me like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so he said he didn't want to provide his information, so this One, trespass will be under four, John Doe. So here's your notice. Thanks. Um, so yeah, if you could tell him to, uh, Kaneshiro here said he was going to go look at it, but if you go look over there, there's nothing yeah, we can like go, any of this. We're going to go look at it. In um, fact, it tells you, it instructs you to come this way as a pedestrian. So that's why I was very, very confused by what Transit was saying when they're saying it's a secured yard. And I'm like, it's literally instructing me to come over here. So like, yeah. if I want to look up that interview, where's it going to be posted at? I would happy. I'd be happy to share it with you later on if you'd like. If you got a business card, I'll ha happily email you guys. You can't tell me what news agency you work for, or not work. yet. Doing investigative journalism, it can bias the heck out of things, especially if I'm going to be in the area for the day. Okay. Uh, what I was telling the manager in there, I'm not being political about this, but if you sent Fox News to go interview Governor Inslee, you'd be waiting forever because that interview would never happen. But if you sent MSNBC or CNN over there. Governor Inslee make time for it, right? So same thing with the news agency I work for. It can bias things if I tell people in advance, you know, who I work for and all that kind of stuff. So I usually like to share that after the fact. But like I said, I'm happy to email Kaneshiro if he wants to share with you guys. If you got a business card, no, nope. I, I was you. just wondering. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, does that have your email address for work? That actually does not. Okay. Did you want my email address? Sir? That'd be great. Sure. Uh, just a quick reminder: if you come back within a year, it's a year I'll be executed. Process. Uh, no, no. Trespass has gotten pretty crazy trust. lately. Not, Washington not just that. at yeah. <laughs> but you can't be arrested for it. Just, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Just a reminder. Yeah. No. This is uh, legitimately uh, confusing in light of the uh, signage over on the other side. But it makes sense now that you guys showed me the signs. So. Okay. Well, All right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Oh, uh, how long is this for, by the way? One year. One, One year. year. From today. Uh, All right. You folks have a good day. Take care. Take care. All right. Well, that's it here uh, for the uh, Bellevue Transit Facility. Uh, wow. Talk about absolutely poor signage i mean that's crazy i absolutely understand uh where the bellevue police department was coming from i mean look at that side right there it's completely clear as to where you can and cannot go it says no trespassing i certainly don't disagree with that um however you go to the other side as you can see right here, it's literally pointing in that direction to go on. And there is no signage whatsoever that says, do not enter, no unauthorized personnel, or no, yeah, no unauthorized personnel. Uh, nothing like that, zero. So that's uh, kind of weird. Uh, I did get a great interview from that guy, so. That was good. And I got my public records request done. But yeah, not uh, not good otherwise. I mean, in terms of saying that there's no access, it's just, there is access if you go to that side. Very weird that they're saying no. But that's it here for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that all notifications bell so you can get my story right when the release.
you can follow me on X at I am free auditing. And if you want to follow me on Facebook now, you can do so at Inland Auditing Media. And if you want to help keep my feet on the street, you can do so by going to the links in the description for Cash App and Venmo. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, well, that's it here for today. Uh, that was at the Bellevue Transit Facility. Uh, very, very confusing situation. You enter in on the west side of the facility. No restriction to access or anything like that whatsoever. Uh, the moment you get to the east side, which is where the police trespassed me from, there is no uh, 